this is the home screen of the Kindle Fire. In the middle of the display here, you see our recency carousel, where all the most recent content that I've been using is displayed. So you can see, a little bit earlier, I was reading Vanity Fair magazine. I was playing Angry Birds. I was using the Amazon.com application, which is an application we created for the Kindle Fire that works beautifully. I was reading some more magazines, playing a game, watching a movie a little bit earlier. One of the nice things about the carousel is that all your most recent content is only one click away. So I'm going to resume Rango, pick it up where I left off. It's going to be a little bit tough to hear in here because it's so loud, obviously. The dual-core processor, the 7-inch display, the form factor really combine to make the device disappear when you're doing things like watching movies or playing games. I'm going to pause it, and as Jeff said a little bit earlier up on stage, one of the nice features we've included is that I can start watching this movie on my Kindle Fire, pause it, go home, pick it up exactly where I left off, left off on my HDTV, TV, uh, my Roku, my TiVo. I'm going to go back home, and you can see that wherever I am on the device, I can click in the middle, I hit our soft key menu, and I go directly home. Up in the top left-hand corner of the display, you see it says, uh, uh, Peter's Kindle. My name is Peter. That means that when you first turn on the device, all of your content, your books, your magazines, your music, your video, is automatically loaded for you and available to either download or stream from the Amazon Cloud. It's got eight gigs of storage uh, locally, but it's got virtually unlimited storage in the Amazon Cloud that the customer never has to think about. It all gets saved up there for them automatically. Up in the top of the display, you see some of the libraries, newsstand, music, books, video docs. One of the things to note is that if you want to look for new content, all of the Amazon stores, video, app store, music store, bookstore, and our new newsstand are only one click away. This is the video store here. It's over 100,000 movies and TV shows you can access. Them. And if you're a Prime member, you get access to over 10, 000, uh, 11,000, actually, movies or TV shows that you can watch commercial-free in an unlimited fashion. In the upper right-hand corner of the display, you see my library button. At any point in the system, I can toggle really easily between my library and between the store. I'm going to go back to the library. You can see here, up on the top of the display, that I've got a cloud toggle and I've got a device toggle. So all these movies, for example, or if I was in the music library, which I can go to here in a second, you see that I've got hundreds of albums up in the cloud available for me to start to stream or play immediately. And if I'm going to go on the road and I'm going to be out of a Wi-Fi network range, I just switch over to the device library and I can play all my music there. I am not going to play Adele because we've heard enough of that. I can tell you that much. Put on some Carrie Underwood wood here. You can see I get a album shot. I get a track shot. I can go back home while the music's playing and I can browse the web, for example. One of the nice things about this web browser is that there aren't many tablet browsers yet that have the tabs at the top of it. Very, very handy feature. I'm going to go to uh, check, uh, I'm going to go to IMDB, for example. You can see how quickly it loads. I've got the music playing in the background. If at any point I want to adjust the music, I just have to click up, up at the top of the display. I get my quick settings where I can adjust my volume. I can adjust my brightness. Connect to Wi-Fi. Or, as you can see, I can pause or fast forward whatever music track happens to be playing. I'm going to go back home. And the lower part of the display is my bookmark shelf. So I can pin an app. I can pin a website, I can pin a video, I can pin a book right down here so that if I use it frequently, I can access it easily. You can see I've got Angry Birds pin there, I've got Fruit Ninja pin there. I'm going to go ahead and open up Vanity Fair. It takes a second to load. 
We have over 250 newspapers and magazines available in the um, in the newsstand. I'm just going to page back here to the cover so you can get an idea of how beautiful these magazines look on the Kindle Fire. And you can see that it's got rich color, high-end design, and really close fidelity to the print um, to the print magazine. I can page down if I want to. I can get interactive features, video, audio. I'm going to go home for a second. I'm going to close out this section of the demo with a game. I could play Angry Birds. I could use my Pulse um, RSS application if I wanted to. In this case, I'm going to play Fruit Ninja, only because it's really easy to get into. It's good for demoing. One of the nice things about the device is that it has a high-speed dual-core processor. 7-inch display with an IPS viewing angle, 16 million colors, 169 pixels per square inch. It really makes games um, sync. It's 1024 by 600. 1024 by 600. Yeah. I'm going to pause it there. Go home. Take a breather here for a second. I'm going to start the demo over again.